Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to more League and Chill. Again, for now, we're just doing a few of these episodes because I need to obviously bulk record. Uh, a lot of you are, you know, mo the vast majority of awesome people, and uh, I'm sure most of you are okay with it. But yeah, thank you. And I will say, if you do like what I do, throw a like on the video, make sure you subscribe, ding the bell. If you're not getting notifications, remember you can unding the bell, reading the bell, and make sure you turn notifications on, even if you have ding the bell. It's a bit weird, but yeah. So we're playing Lissandra. Apparently we're against a Shaco in the mid lane, which, you know, is a thing. It's not, but whatever. Um, but we're playing Lissandra because obviously she just got buffed. Is the buffs good? Does it make her really strong? We are still running Aftershock, by the way, because some people are like, why would you, you know, wouldn't you run something more damagey now because she's got damage buffs? Uh, Aftershock is still, like, really good. So, yeah. Also, is anybody else, like, kind of creeped out by how that moves around? I don't know why that kind of creeps me out a little bit. All right, has he put... Like, we had vision of him, so has he put, like, a lot of boxes down or something? No. So, Lissandra's passive is no longer the free ability, right? So, it's the, uh... The ghosts, when, when she kills an opponent, she obviously gets, like, a little ghosty thing that appears. That that has been buffed. Into, like, point two. Oh, what? Why are you low health? I'm so... Wait, did he do wolves? Do you think he did wolves? I think he did wolves. Yeah, because he's already level... He did wolves! What? Okay, that's bizarre. Um, So the two things that got buffed is her W and the passive. That is weird. If I was the jungler, I'd be well annoyed about that. It's like, what are you doing? Taking XP away from a Nocturne that wants to full clear. So that got the W got bought, buffed by 0.2 and the passive got buffed by 0.2. So by the way, he's already out of sustain. His corrupting potion is gone. He is running obviously flash because it's not jungle Shaco. This is a bit weird. The guy is in silver, by the way, just so everybody, like, you know, rating-wise can put it in his perspective. And, you know, he's probably just playing for fun, let's be honest, so, it, you know. So, yeah, just kill his boxes. When is, like, AoE wave clear, surely his boxes are, like, way more important than they used to be. Well, at least a lane Shaco. So just prioritize and killing them, and I doubt he can really do anything. So I think most people can kind of see that I don't really get this pick at all. What's their jungle? Nocturne, right. But again, that Nocturne is going to be a little bit behind because the Shaco took his wolves. So, bit of a weird dynamic going on. You have to go back. Because the funny thing with this matchup too, if he goes eventually all in on me and that, I'm Lissandra, so I can just ult myself when he's like on top of me. So, yeah. He did, by the way, blind pick, I believe. Did he blind pick this? I don't remember. I think he did. Like, he just randomly picked Shaker? Or did he pick it into me? If he picked it into me, then it's worse. Okay. Oh, my God. I didn't even look. We haven't pressed tab. Oh, mama. I in the chat for that guy. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. What do I want to build? Just... Damage? Yeah, Ludens. Ooh, Jibus. Maintain the pressure. Got him. Just mana regen and poke, basically. I'm sorry. Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh. 
Because even like, wow, Lissandra is pretty good against Nocturne as well, isn't she? He ults, you just ult yourself as he's coming in and you avoid all the burst damage. Huh. That sounds actually really good. Oh my god, I missed the cannon. Ay, ay, ay. Kind of wish I had Ignite in a way in this matchup. But obviously, I wasn't really expecting Shaco mid. So I didn't really know to to pick it, unfortunately. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Uh. Damn. He was like, how much health is he on? Uh, PD060797. Welcome, dude. Boom. Alright. I really wish I killed that guy. Uh, he ignited. Jeebus killed the pan uh, the Vlad again. I can't get that. I've got literally nothing. Alright, sweet. And then we can buy a bit more sustain. That's going quite well. Oh, what auto? Hey, oh. Let's go. Oh, yeah, he flashed. Okay, cool. So we're more than double farm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. I don't, like... I know people play League to have fun and we're in a normal game or whatever, so it's completely fine. I'm not annoyed at the Shaco, but the way that my mind thinks is, is this fun for this guy? <laughs> like, that's where my mind goes. It's like, are you having fun, buddy? Yeah. Hell yeah. Mission complete. Um, so W, I'll say, again, if we're going to go on, like, she just got buffed, what do I feel? I have played a little Lissandra here on there. The W feels stronger. I can say that straight away. Definitely does feel stronger. It does more damage. So that's always nice. Damn, if I had ultimate. Close. Um, Adder Humph and Frizo Games. Thank you, Frozo Games. Welcome, dude. Thanks, for both of you, very much. Oh. Did I legit get the wrong one? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I keep picking the wrong Shaco. I don't even know how I'm doing that. It should be obvious. Part of me wants the max W second, not E. Because it does better scaling now. And against Shaco could be very handy. I don't know. Does he have Ignite up? I don't remember. You probably keep track of that stuff when you're against an Ignite in mid. Damn, I didn't get away from the fear. Are you serious? Okay, I got the Q off. They might both... They're both dead. Two assists? Hey, two assists. That's worth. I just got the Q off in time. All right, I'll take that. I also think Nocturne must have flashed because he was here. And then when, when we reappeared, he was like here. So to me, that has to be a flash. Ooh, good damage. Oh, is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's Pantheon. Damn. That looked really close. Ch changes to Roa. What changes to Roa? Is it on the PBE or something? Um... 
can't find it. Like, what? what what's the change? Am I getting blue? <gasps> That's nice. Blue helps me quite a bit, because really to beat Shaco, I just need to spam a lot. Thank you. That's satisfying. That's really satisfying. I'm trying to, again, if Shaco wants to roam, I'm just going to just, like, mega push the lane. That's something, like, the Sandra's always been really good at. Punishing people from roaming. Oh, I need to hit that, though. I picked the wrong one again? Okay. Thank God. How do I keep picking the wrong one? I think it's because I keep thinking that the Shaco is going to be behind the clone. He's always like having him but in front. It's just throwing me off. Is that a thing? Does the, was, does the clone always spawn behind now? I, did, I, did, I swear it never used to. I could, by the way, get killed here if Nocturne's got ultimate. Because I doubt... I doubt I can, like, run away enough. I'd love one more tower plate, but this is really greedy. Alright, we did it. We greeted it. Do I not find this boring? Eh, she's alright. I think... Whoa, we're double farm now. Legit double farm. Um... I mean, she's not the craziest out there, but she's solid. And that's kind of what you're mainly looking for in a mid laner. Well, for this style of mid laner. She's a control mid laner, right? So she's in the same category as something like Galio. I think she's very good in that aspect. And with this buff. So yeah, if the title of the video is Lissandra got buffed, how is she or is she good? So far, you're like, the way, again, we are, obviously take with the pinch of salt. We are against a very, very weird matchup. We're against an AP Shaco mid that isn't really being able to do anything. So, you know, take that as you will. Oh, it's that one. Um, but she's, like, again, I can tell you the W feels like it does more damage and all that. So it's there's good signs, for sure. There's definitely good signs. Yeah, we get this tower. Okay, not first blood tower. Because they got the bot lane. Look in here, just in case. If Janna comes... I... Oh. I don't know if I have enough. Uh, I think I could kill the Janna, but then I'd have, I'd die after. I don't really want to die. Just so I'd see what he would do. He actually did panic a little bit. Man. Man, why do they have to flash? Um, sweet. Level 11, that should help a lot. Don't know where mid lane's gone. Alright, cool. What dragon is it? Oh, it's infernal. That's very good for us. Wunderbar. Ow. Ow. Because <laughs> there's a tower there. Oh, I didn't realise. So this game is a bit more stompy from last game, surprisingly. Um... And, you know, last game we had the, you know, higher rating players on average. So it's a bit weird. I'm trying to bait. Oh, 
Oh, ha, 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 ha. That must have been really close. That was so close. I get him. I get him. I get him. That's fine. Don't want to risk deaths for it. I like Lissandra's new pat. Ooh. Was it running out? I like Lissandra's new passive. Also, has Shake. Oh, no, he's top. Okay. I was like, is he AFK? I see Naguri hitting rank 2 in EU West. Yeah, that dude's... That dude's crazy. But we've also seen some copycats. Like, again, we recorded... Tried to record a video earlier. Um, and that was the game that we had... Well, was that the same game that we had? Yeah, it was, right? That was the same game. It was a 0 and 14 Fizz 1 trick, I think. We had a Nar in top lane that went something like 0 and 8 or something. And he was running Kleptomancy and fed his literal derriere off. It's like... There's a reason you shouldn't just blindly copy this stuff as well. Nuguri literally does it. He legit does it to annoy his own jungler. Or what like it's some it's a story like that. He does it to annoy someone on his team because he just knows he's good enough to pull it off. So uh yeah. It, it, he he doesn't say it's good. He's literally doing it just to annoy people. So yeah. It's kind of like the, 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 the whole thing with Tristana mid. Faker did it as a joke and then people started to take it seriously. It's like, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Nah, let's just kill this guy. So yeah, I don't really see the AP Shaco mid pick at all. I just don't really get why you'd do it. And again, he might just be doing it fun, like we mentioned. But I also kind of think it might not be very fun for him. It can't be, right? They're so low. Damn. Yeah, Trist mid, you need a comp to make it work. That's why you'll see it in pro play. If you've got a comp around it, especially if you're not even running an AD carry in bot lane, you're running a mage, then it can work quite well. It's just the people that are like, I'm going to play it in solo queue when no one's building a comp around me. It's like, oh boy. Oh boy. That's Pant's best ability. Is he? Alright, nice. So yeah, this game's a bit more stompy. But it's still good. Again, we are kind of just testing Lissandra. And notice, by the way, I'm not in stupidly crazy fed. I legit don't really think that's... That's not really the champion that she is. You know, Lissandra? She's more kind of like chill. Like, she, she'll just be strong. Like Galio, right? She carries from doing decent damage... But gives utility, slows, her ultimate's fantastic. That's more what this champion is. It's not really... It's not a hyper carry. She's... Ch oh my god. Okay, that, that was not intended. God dang it. She's as cold as ice. <laughs> For those that didn't get why people were reacting to why I said chill. She's like the Ice Queen. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, cool. Would be nice to get a couple more kills though. Am I playing Galio today? No, I'm playing mainly the champions that got changed in the patch. The ones I'm interested in anyway. So Shaco, just to put it in perspective, hasn't got one completed item yet. That's rough. Huzzy cannon. So no Shaco. We just played Shaco. Literally the game before this. Pretty much the only one that I'm legit not interested in is Garen. Because Darius is just a better version of Garen in basically every way. So, you know, just play, just play that champion instead.
My team is just in the base. Holy moly. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's see if I can get like a big dive on or something. I'm alive! <laughs> there we go. That's Lissandra's. That's what this champion's for. Doing those stupid dives. Damn, that was nice. And I will say again, the champion does feel like she's doing more damage. Obviously, because she just got buffed in damage. Her passive does more. Her W does more. So naturally, this champion, even though it's not going to put her, as I said, it's not going to put her into a hyper carry position. She's never going to be that. That's not what she's designed to be. It's always nice when you're giving more ooh, you're giving more damage to these type of champions. It's like what happened to Galio. The the damage buff to Galio didn't turn him to a hyper carry, but it just made him more viable. It's the same premise. Oh, that Caitlyn just survived. But there we go. That was really nice. Cool. Ugh. So yeah, that felt good. Good buff. Um, we might see some Lissandra. Again, remember that these buffs are not for Worlds. Uh, it's after Worlds. Well, it, it's for, uh, like, Worlds is being played on 9.19. So this isn't pro play that it's going to be affecting. So, it, you know, you won't see Lissandra because of these buffs in Worlds. But, uh, yeah, you might see some more Lissandra moving forward. For sure. So, yeah. Went 219 S score and damage done dealing. Second most damage in the game behind the Caitlyn. And that's that's basically Shaco does the most, but I guess it's just weird poke damage. That again, maybe, you know, 20 damage ticks add up after a while, but it doesn't really do anything in the grand scheme. Like that that just didn't work. Um but if the guy's having fun in normal games, then whatever. As long as he's, he doesn't bring that into ranked, I think he'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that was the game. Lissandra buff felt good. Nice one by Riot. Um, if you do play Lissandra, I'm sure you'll be happy. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, throw a like on the video, throw a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See you!